Hello, my crafty friends. This is Lori, Girl on the Ridge. I have a project I'd like to share with you. Um, this actually has been sold, but I will be making some more. Um, I was just in between journals, and I just wanted to make something pretty. So I started with a 6x7 uh, glassine gusseted bag that I've had. Um, and I went from there, and then it just kind of got big. So we start with, this is a, well, we got the paper clip. And we have a tag that is inside a music bag um, file folder. This is a tag that's just, um, this is Nevermore Creations. These are the little Tim Holtz cards that I altered. Just a little collage piece. And then you can turn on the back of there. Um, then, yeah, there's a little pocket in there. And I just did a lot of, um, let me make sure I'm in frame here, a lot of, sorry for the shadow, collaging and different pieces of lace and stuff. This is all crinkled up. And then this opens up. And there's not another collage piece over there. And just some pretty ephemera. And there's a little... Um, one set little heaven um stickers i had gotten from over the summer and i love them i only got a couple left i thought that was cute this came from lace one boutique so it's a little pocket there again it's collaged and over here is a guest check from a tattered dream with just a little piece of writing paper a little snippet on a um this is on an envelope and I'll put something in there. And actually, I got something for here, too. Um, shoot, it's drying. So that'll be a surprise for you. So that's the front part. And then it flipped over. And this just got bigger and bigger. So I had um, another bag. I put a, another... Um, a collage piece on it this is a little waxed and some a letter and a little envelope that was torn I just left that because I liked it and then this opens and there's just another little actually I stuck that all down it's just a collage piece because you could put something in the bag and then this here is and I put this here to keep it I could have put a paper clip but I might change my mind this is um one of the time cards from a tattered dream and I did paper rough cut paper and inked it up on the front and then there's a little the time card and I jessled it and there's a little bag anything that's empty will be filled and I still got glue on my hands but and then let's see this is a snippet on another envelope in writing spot and then here is just more this flips up that's a little tuck spot this is a little book pocket and this is just more writing writing paper that's been gessoed you have to excuse me as kids went back to school and everybody got colds <clears throat> so this is all paper and there's a little love note and then that flips over so you still there's still lots of places to put more stuff and stuff to write so let's see that goes that way no this way and on this side there's more writing so and then that goes that way yep and then that goes that way okay and then here is more writing spot. There's three, two pieces of paper. And then here is a bookmark or a book page that this is on Nevermore Creation. And I did it on glossy paper because I wanted it to pop. So this was her tickled pink and I just loved it. And then there's another, just a little, those, these are the flashcards and I didn't really know what to do with them. And I seen Gina, she was altering, Gina from Firefly Studio, she was altering the big ones, and I didn't have them. 
So I said, oh, let me play around with the little ones. So in this packet, it just has a big rose that I did all the way down. And then that one. And that's all that. So that is technically the back. <laughs> so then in here is a journal. Let's put this back. I was just having fun, just kept making stuff for it. And this is just a very, um, I have a, a pink key. It's very lightly embellished, but it feels really good. It is a envelope cover, and it just has some, um, some more embellishments. And this is a coat check um, ticket with just a couple pieces of ephemera in there. And I just ink the pages. I like the torn look. I said, I love the torn look. Just a different variety of papers. And then here is an envelope that I made. And there's some tags and some goodies in there. And some of the papers doubled, some sewn. There's some. I'll take a part napkin, some silk that I actually dyed, and just a button that I put down there. Another napkin, a little girl. And just another little tuck spot that, um, Luna Rowe, Luna Rowe, I think that's her name. I got some ephemera from her. And then there's another ticket, or a uh, little space in there. A little ticket in there. And that's the little journal. And then I was just making these and they're almost dry. I wanted a set of envelopes to go with them. I like journaling and envelopes and st I guess I'm just a stuffer. So I made these pretty sets of envelopes and I just tore took them apart and then I just did the I don't know, sewing on them. And then you can still put something in it. And you'll see a little shimmer on these. And then this one. And what I used, if I can find it. If not, I might have to come back. Yep, it's gone. It was a um, really pretty set of, uh, it's called Champagne Eyeshadow. Oh, here it is. And it really has, it does stay in your hand, so it really um, has a pretty, pretty glimmer. And just by, I just put, well, see, <laughs> put some on your hands and you rub it over the gesso. And then I take a little tissue, just kind of rub it off. But that was, um, and this was like $4.99 in Marshalls. So it was Rose Champagne Eyeshadow Collection. And with the holidays and even um, Halloween coming up, there's a lot of glitter out there that, you could find so I use that on this so this will be I'll fill it up and this will be sent out and I'll have um, this is just a closure and what I have coming up I got to get back in the groove hopefully I'm feeling better here shortly I have I know for sure two journals coming up that have the quilted similar to this but this is a small one um this old vintage quilt i had i made three more satchels out of this with the journal to go in but they're you know a lot bigger and those i'm hoping to have up by tomorrow so so that's it so i guess it's time for bed and hope you guys feel well i hope you can stay away from the change of the season cold and flu so we'll see you soon bye